Thompson, you were talking about how great the weather was earlier. Boy, mm -hmm. it was a great day, not just for the Nats, but also for a great White House tradition today as well. Absolutely. The White House Easter egg roll went off without a hitch on the South Lawn. But as Natasha Barrett shows us, that doesn't mean there weren't any surprises. Obama. These six year olds found their fanciest Easter dresses, drove from New Jersey, and got to take off school for the White House. I was excited to see Obama and his family. You know, my best friend here, she interned and she got it, so it's a yay! 30,000 children came to the Easter egg roll. President Obama, with his dog Bo, read a story to the kids. Clearly, the alphabet is full of a bunch of troublemakers. You see that? And on a holiday mostly known for candy, First Lady Michelle Obama stressed healthy eating habits. But overall, we want you guys to have a good time and keep moving and be healthy. And kids, eat your vegetables, okay? The egg roll took place in spite of warnings from the White House that budget battles could cancel it. Several corporate donors stepped in to help pay for the yearly tradition. The White House tours have been called off because of government-wide spending cuts. And the White House even took their own stab at an April Fool's prank of their own. It looks like you're inspecting somebody else. Robbie Novak, who plays Kid President in a series of popular YouTube videos, made a special appearance from the White House briefing room. The White House Twitter account announced to be on the lookout for a special video message from the president. April Fool's on all y'all. Natasha Barrett, ABC 7 News. <laughs> I haven't seen him before. <laughs> Funny. That was a good one. <laughs> All right.